So I have to start by saying, it's. I know this is going to sound like a lot of math, and I'm going to apologize, but I see this too frequently. So sometimes I'll say, do you know what your indirect cost rate is? And if you, I'm just going to ask for the chat box, if you know, you don't have to put what it is, but just, do you know what your indirect cost rate is? It's like, it's 10 o'clock, do you know where your teenager is? Do you know what your inner your indirect cost rate is, yes or no? So let's say that your indirect cost rate is 20%. Okay, I'm going to ask you, do you know of what? And this is the bugaboo. So often we hear these rates, but we don't understand what they're spread across, right? So we don't know, is it 20% of salaries? Is it 20% of salaries with paid time off? Is it 20% of salaries and fringe? Is it 20% of everything? Uh, total direct costs? Is it 20% of what's called modified total direct costs? And we'll talk about what that is in a minute, MTDC. If you ever hear a rate, and I don't care if it's a fringe rate, if it's an indirect cost rate, whatever they're trying to allocate costs, always ask of what? And if you're a grant writer, it's even more important because as you put together grant budgets, you need to make sure that you're allocating costs correctly. Otherwise, you're leaving money on the table.